What do you see when you look at the planets? It looks like it has ears. No, it's hula hooping. What are you guys looking at? Planets don't have ears, although that's what famous scientist Galileo thought. And they certainly don't hula hoop, but they do rotate and revolve around the sun. It's time to take a closer look at the planets. A planet is a large spherical body that orbits in a clear path around a star. All of the planets in our solar system orbit our star, the sun. To orbit means to move around another object along a path. Each planet orbits the sun at a different distance. At the same time, each planet also rotates or spins on an axis. The axis the planet rotates on is different for each planet too. Earth spins like this while Uranus spins like this. Each planet moves in a different orbit and travels at a different speed. From our point of view on Earth, they appear to wander through the sky. In fact, that's where the word planet comes from. Planet comes from the Greek word planete, which means wanderer. If you observe the night sky, you can see some of the planets change position as they rotate and revolve around the sun. Stars and planets may look alike in the night sky, but you can tell them apart by their light. Stars are huge and give off their own light, but because stars are so far away, they look like a pinpoint of light. When that light comes through Earth's air, it appears to twinkle. Planets are smaller and only reflect the light of the sun, but because they are closer, they appear larger and we see more of their light through our air. They do not twinkle. Another object we can see in the night sky is the moon. Many of the planets, besides Earth, have moons. Moons are large, rocky objects that orbit planets. Since they were invented, people have used telescopes to study space from Earth. More recently, cameras, computers, and other equipment on spacecrafts have recorded information that scientists cannot gather from Earth. And we're learning more and more each day. When my big brother went to school, he learned that there were nine planets. Now, we are learning that there are eight planets, three dwarf planets, and many small solar system bodies. With our new technology, astronomers could see more so they decided we needed a new way to define the objects in space. In the year 2006, the International Astronomical Union changed the definition of a planet. According to the new definition, there are eight planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. So, what happened to Pluto? Pluto once thought to be a planet, has been redefined as a dwarf planet. A dwarf planet is an object that meets all the characteristics of a planet, except its orbit around the sun is not clear of other small solar system bodies, like asteroids. For example, Pluto orbits within the Kuiper Belt, which is a ring beyond Neptune that is full of small objects called small solar system bodies. Two other small solar system bodies were also named dwarf planets. They are Ceres and Eris. There are many more small solar system bodies that may be named dwarf planets in the near future. The Planets Since the new definitions, astronomers divide the planets into two groups. The terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are closer to the Sun, and the Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are farther out from the Sun. The inner planets are smaller than most of the outer planets. The largest terrestrial planet, Earth, has a diameter that is only one-fourth the size of one of the smallest outer planets, Neptune. All of the Jovian planets 
are much larger than the terrestrial planets, and the Jovian planets have many moons. The terrestrial planets are all made of rock. That is their composition. The Jovian planets are made of gases. They are often called the gas giants. So although they are bigger because of their composition, the Jovian planets are not as thick or dense as the terrestrial planets. But the Jovian planets have thick atmospheres. An atmosphere is a layer of gases that surrounds most planets. The atmospheres of the outer planets consist mostly of hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia. The terrestrial planets generally have less dense atmospheres than the Jovian planets do. Nitrogen and carbon dioxide are some of the gases in the atmospheres of the terrestrial planets. Also, because they are closer to the Sun, the terrestrial planets are warmer than the outer planets. And all of the Jovian planets have rings of dust and ice. Many of the planets were named by the ancient Romans. Most were named after their gods. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Uranus and Neptune were not named until the 19th century. The Terrestrial Planet Earth is one of the terrestrial planets, and since we're most familiar with it, we'll start here, at the third planet from the Sun, Earth. Unlike all the other planets, the name Earth is from an old English word which means the ground we walk on. At 12,750 kilometers or 8,000 miles across, Earth is the largest of the inner planets. From space, Earth looks like a blue and white marble. The surface is mostly covered with water. Earth is different from the other terrestrial planets. In addition to its watery surface, Earth is the only planet with a lot of oxygen in its atmosphere. And Earth's atmosphere keeps it from getting too hot or too cold to support life. In fact, Earth is the only planet known to support life. There is one moon that orbits Earth. It takes 24 hours for Earth to rotate on its axis. 24 hours is one Earth day. And it takes 365 of those days for Earth to orbit the Sun. That is one Earth year. The closest planet to the Sun is Mercury. At 4,900 kilometers, or 3,000 miles across, Mercury is less than one-fourth the size of Earth. Mercury was the name of the winged messenger of the Roman gods. It's the perfect name for the fastest moving planet in the solar system. No one has visited Mercury, but space probes have been sent to study the planet. A space probe is a spacecraft designed to gather information. These photographs taken by the space probes show that the surface of Mercury is hot, dry, and covered with craters. A crater is a large hole in the ground shaped like a bowl. On the side of Mercury facing the Sun, it is extremely hot. In fact, the daytime temperature is hot enough to melt lead. It is very cold on the side facing away from the Sun. Although it is freezing cold, Mercury has no water, so there is no ice like we have on Earth. Surrounding Mercury, there is very little atmosphere, and Mercury has no moons. The speedy planet Mercury travels around the Sun in just 88 Earth days, but because its rotation is so slow, its day equals two of its years. That means if I stay up for one day on Mercury, I'd have to stay up for 176 Earth days. The second planet from the Sun is Venus. Venus was named for the Roman goddess of love. Like Earth, Venus is about 12,000 kilometers or 7,500 miles across. Pictures taken by spacecraft showed that Venus has a rocky surface with mountains, valleys, and craters. And while Venus has been called Earth's twin, the two planets are very different in many ways. The first way is the way the planet rotates. 
Venus rotates backwards from Earth and most of the other planets. Venus has no water and no moon, but it does have an atmosphere. Venus's atmosphere is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. This makes the air very thick. Carbon dioxide gas is very good at trapping heat. So good, in fact, that Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Clouds of sulfur and sulfuric acid swirl around Venus and block our view of the surface. But we have learned a lot about Venus's landforms and atmosphere from information collected by space probes. It's not likely that we will send astronauts because they would have to endure temperatures of nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit. We've learned that the pressure from the atmosphere on Venus is 90 times the pressure on Earth. It would crush human beings. One day on Venus is equal to 243 Earth days. And it takes 225 Earth days to make one Venus year. Past our home in space, Earth, is the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars. At 6,800 kilometers, or 4,200 miles across, it is just over half the size of Earth. Mars was named for the Roman god of war. It is often called the red planet because its surface is a reddish color. Until now, most of our information about Mars came from unmanned spacecraft that the United States sent to Mars between 1964 and 1976. But in 2004, the Mars Exploration Rover mission landed on the surface of Mars. This is one of the newest views. The atmosphere on Mars is thin and made up mostly of carbon dioxide. Strong winds whip up huge dust storms that blow across Mars's rocky, desert-like surface. Mars has other landforms too, like valleys and volcanoes. In fact, Mars has the largest volcano in the solar system, Olympus Mons. Unlike Earth, Mars has two moons, but our days are similar in length. It takes 25 hours for Mars to make one complete rotation. The year is different from Earth, though. One year on Mars takes two of our Earth years. The Jovian Planet Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. That's why it was named after the king of the Roman gods. At 143,000 kilometers or 88,900 miles across, Jupiter is over 10 times larger than Earth. Because Jupiter is a huge ball of gas, it has no solid surface. Instead, it has a liquid slush-like surface. It's made up of gases that are tightly packed from the extreme pressure of the planet's atmosphere. On the inside of the planet, Jupiter is hotter than the surface of the sun. Jupiter's atmosphere is thick and cloudy. It hides the surface from easy study. The top of Jupiter's atmosphere is very cold. In the atmosphere, there is a huge hurricane-like storm that is going on continually. From telescopes on Earth, it looks like a great red spot. Two circles, each the size of Earth, could fit inside Jupiter's great red spot. It has at least 63 moons and is surrounded by one thin ring. Without pictures taken by cameras on the spacecraft Voyager, scientists would not have known that Jupiter was surrounded by one very thin ring. On Jupiter, a day is shorter than on Earth. It takes only 10 Earth hours for this giant to rotate on its axis. But the year is comparatively longer than Earth's trip around the Sun. Earth will make the trip 12 times to Jupiter's one. Next out, Saturn. It is named after the Roman god of agriculture. Like Jupiter, Saturn is a giant ball of colored gas. At 120,000 kilometers, or 75,000 miles across, it's over nine times the size of Earth. 
It's a giant. Saturn's surface is made up of frozen gases. Its atmosphere is thick and very cold at the top. Saturn has at least 31 moons and a large system of rings that reaches 416,000 kilometers or 260,000 miles from its surface. From millions of miles away, Saturn's rings look like solid disks. When a U.S. space probe got a closer look at them, they saw that Saturn's rings are actually made up of countless particles of ice, rock, and dust. The particles in Saturn's rings range in size from tiny specks to pieces the size of a large boulder. A day on Saturn is shorter than Earth, only 10 Earth hours. That's the same length as Jupiter's day. But the year is much longer. It takes 29 Earth years to make one Saturn year. Named for the Greek god of the sky, Uranus is another gas planet. It's a little over four times the size of Earth at 52,000 kilometers or 32,000 miles across. From space, Uranus looks blue-green in color. Uranus is different from the other planets because of its rotation. It seems to be lying on its side. Some astronomers think that a huge collision in space may have knocked the planet into its strange position. Like Saturn, the surface of Uranus is made of frozen gases. Because of its size and distance away from the Earth, Uranus is difficult to see even with a telescope. But in 1986, the Voyager 2 spacecraft took pictures of Uranus and its rings and moons. So today, we know that Uranus has 22 moons. It takes 17 Earth hours for Uranus to rotate on its axis and 84 Earth years for Uranus to orbit one time around the Sun. Near the edge of our solar system is Neptune. Sea greenish in color, Neptune takes its name from the Roman god of the seas. Like Uranus, this gas giant is about four times the size of Earth. It is 49,000 kilometers, or 30,400 miles across. Its surface is made of frozen gases. Neptune's atmosphere is similar to that of Uranus. The upper atmosphere is cold, and the center of the planet is very hot. Neptune does have rings, but they are very hard to see. And there are 12 moons that orbit around Neptune. Neptune was not even discovered until 1846. Still, we did not find out much about Neptune until the Voyager probes passed by it in the late 1980s. Then we had our first look at two of Neptune's moons, Triton and Nereid. The orbit of Triton is moving it closer and closer to Neptune's surface. It is believed that Neptune's gravity will break Triton apart in 100 million years. Neptune's day takes only 19 Earth hours. But, at such a long distance from the Sun, it takes 165 Earth years for Neptune to orbit the Sun. Dwarf Planet the dwarf planet, Ceres, lies within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Astronomers used to call Ceres an asteroid, but now, by the new definition of a planet, Ceres is a dwarf planet. With a diameter of 580 miles, Ceres is only one-fourth the size of our moon. That's about the size of Texas. A day on Ceres is only nine Earth hours but it orbits the Sun once every 4.6 Earth years. Below the surface, there may be liquid water. On the surface, it is warm, and there are indications of frost. It may have a very thin atmosphere. Photos show that Ceres has a large spot. Astronomers are not sure what causes the spot. It could be a crater from an asteroid impact, or it could be from a darker material in the planet's soil. NASA is hoping to launch a spacecraft soon to study Ceres. Beyond Neptune lies another dwarf planet, Pluto. 
tiny, cold, and dark. Pluto was named after the Roman god of the underworld. At 2,300 kilometers, or 1,400 miles across, Pluto is smaller than Earth's moon. Little is known about Pluto because it is so very far away. Because it is so far from the sun, Pluto is a cold, dark world where the sun looks like a bright but distant star in the black sky. Pluto has a thin atmosphere and its hard, icy surface is bitterly cold. Surface temperatures on Pluto dip down to about minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit. It takes six Earth days to make one day on Pluto. One year on Pluto is 248 Earth years. Pluto is usually farther away from the Sun than Neptune. However, every 248 years, the elliptical shape of Pluto's orbit takes it inside Neptune's for about 20 years. From January 23, 1979 until March 15, 1999, Pluto's orbit was inside Neptune's orbit. So, for 20 years, Neptune was farther away from the Sun. Pluto has three known moons, Charon, Nix, and Hydra. Some astronomers call Pluto and Charon a double planet. Instead of each object rotating on its own axis, they both rotate around a common point in space between the two objects. Recently, astronomers discovered something beyond Pluto and Charon. For three years, scientists argued whether or not this unnamed body was a planet. But in 2006, the IAU decided it was a dwarf planet and named it Eris after the Greek goddess of warfare and strife. Eris is slightly larger than Pluto, making it the largest known dwarf planet. It is very far from the Sun, about 10 billion miles. It takes Eris about 560 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Eris looks very similar to Pluto and is probably made up of ice and rock too. Because it is so far away from the Sun, its atmosphere may be frozen solid. The temperature on Eris is extremely cold, between 360 and 405 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Eris has one known moon, Dysnomia. Pluto and Eris belong to a new class of planet called a Pluton. The word Pluton comes from the name Pluto, the first Pluton to be discovered. A Pluton is a planet that has an orbit that takes longer than 200 years to complete. Plutons orbit beyond Neptune. Unlike the round orbits of planets, Plutons typically have very oblong orbits and are highly tilted. So what did you learn? By the most recent definitions, there are eight planets and three dwarf planets in our solar system. Astronomers usually divide the planets into two groups, the terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and the Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The terrestrial planets are smaller than the Jovian planets. All of the Jovian planets are much larger than the terrestrial planets. The atmosphere on Jovian planets is more dense than the atmosphere on terrestrial planets. Also, because they're closer to the sun, the terrestrial planets are warmer than the Jovian planets. The three dwarf planets are Ceres, Pluto, and Eris. They are planets that do not have a clear path around the sun. Pluto and Eris are in a new class called Plutons. Their orbits take longer than 200 years to complete and are very oblong. The planets and dwarf planets move in two ways. They rotate on their axis, each at a different speed, and some in different directions. They also revolve around the sun in their own unique orbits. We have already learned a lot about the planets in our solar system, but there is still much to learn. With new advancements in technology and new definitions of objects in our universe, our understanding of the planets and our solar system is always changing. No hula hoops and no ears. 
just new discoveries about our neighbors and the night sky, the planets.